Yo, what is the guys? Jason here, and today, what we're going to do is we are going to be raking every single Korean drink that I was able to find at my local Korean store. There's a lot to go through today, from cider to saksak to Korean milk. You guys probably heard of it. You guys, some of you guys maybe have never tried it. I never tried some of these, but I'm excited to try everything today. And we're gonna be ranking them S to A to B to C to F to see which one is actually goaded and which one is actually weird champ. <laughs> so with that being said, let's start. Okay guys, let's start with the first one. This one is Jeju Kamgyul. So the, for those of you guys that don't know, Jeju Island, they're known for their oranges, their tangerines. It's very, very, very sweet. It's, there's like not like a hint of sourness in it. It is a little bit on the sweeter side, I would say, but it is good, it is good. Cheers. Oh, this is so good. I will say though, it is on the sweeter side. Here's the thing. I would recommend this more if you guys have, have a sweet tooth. I think this is a solid B tier. I could see it being a little bit too sweet for people. Okay, next. Chilsong Saido! Let's go, baby! You can just think about this as the Sprite of Korea. Smells like... Cider. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. There is a weird aftertaste. Okay, here's the thing. In terms of just pure texture, it's basically Sprite. There isn't much difference, but the aftertaste, there's a weird like... It, it tastes like almost like a bad lemon gone wrong. It's a weird like aftertaste. Maybe C? It could be a C. We'll come back to it. Okay, next. Saksak! Grape flavor. This is a very, very interesting drink. Before you even open it, what you guys want to do is you guys want to give it a shake, okay? Because there's little bits inside. Cheers. Mmm. I won't show you guys my mouth, but some of you guys get my girl stuff, but... So the, it's not like grape like little bits. It's like a... Think of it as like a... You know like a grape, like a Japanese grape candy? It's like that flavor. It's not like a true like actual grape. I mean, it is an actual grape. Like I'm explaining this horribly. Holy shit. Susie, yes. Jelly-like. There you go. Jelly-like. Like aloe. There you go. See? Damn, you guys could... Dude, you guys should be doing this. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Editor, you know what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like little bits of like aloe. You know what I mean? Maybe something like jelly. It's like almost like a jelly texture. You know, and it has like a flavor of like a Japanese candy. Um, if you combine all that together, that's actually what you get out of the drink. Yeah. I think that was probably the best explanation. Yeah. Wow. Damn. I, I just thought of that by myself too. Holy shit. Damn. This is on the sweeter side. It might even be sweeter than the, the orange juice. 131 freaking calories. Holy shit. In this small can. Sugar is 32 grams. I'm gonna go hyper after this. I'm gonna go hyper. I'm gonna go hyper. I'm gonna go hyper. I'm gonna go <laughs> if you guys want your sugar intake for the day, here it is. Literally for the day. This is your sugar intake for the day. Oh, I just realized I put stacks like orange. Why did I put stacks like orange? It is sweeter. It's sweeter than oranges, but it's also more fun. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is this drink is more unique. It's definitely more unique. It is on the sweeter side. I will, I'm gonna rank this according to my taste buds, okay? Because I do like, I do have a sweet tooth. I think it's an A. Editor, if you can, please change this to a grape. <laughs> Remember, this is a grape. Next. Milk kiss! Yeah! If you guys have never tried this, this one would actually blow your mind. It's pretty much a carbonated... Actually, you know what? Let me... I'm gonna drink it first and I'll explain. I'll explain. Cheers. Oh god, that is good. Holy shit. For those of you guys uncultured swines, it's carbonated milk. Hello? You never heard of that? Carbonated milk? It sounds awesome, right? Carbonated milk? You mix Sprite, you mix some milk in there. Bam! That sounds like a drink from heaven. <laughs> Most people, the way, when they explain it, they, they explain it as carbonated milk, but it's not really carbonated milk because really that's the only way to explain it because there's literally nothing else in the world like this. It's an easy S tier. This is an easy S tier. Please go ahead and try this. You will not be disappointed. Next. Achim Hesal. I've personally never tried this. This one translates to a morning hangover cure. Cheers. What? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa! This is literally like a, it's just like a nutty flavor. It's weird though, cause I would say it's actually in between almond and soy. It's like almost in between. Like it's, it's more towards soy, 
but you get like a hint of almond in there. Wow, that's unique. I think that's an A for me, guys. Next. Thank you, you. Let's go. This is kind of the fake version, though. This is not the real version. If you guys go to Korea, the real version is this. That, that picture. That picture is actually the real version. That's what you get in Korea. The very popular version of this is banana milk. I couldn't find it because it's so popular here. It's, it's always sold out. I could not find it for two weeks. It was sold out in every single Korean supermarket I went to. That's how popular it is, okay? The banana milk. The ba banana uyu is freaking goaded. I guess in a way it's a blessing in disguise. It's gonna make this tier list fair. <laughs> this competition, you know what I mean? With that being said, let's try taigyu uyu. I haven't tried taigyu uyu in a while. Strawberry uyu. Cheers. Oh, oh my God. With the strawberry taste, it's not like overwhelming. You still get like the lightness of the milk, but the strawberry is more like an accent to that lightness, which is why it makes it like a good balance. You know what I mean? That I think that's the best one so far. I'm not. That's the best one so far. But if you guys do go to Korea, get that, get that, whatever that picture right there. You'll see it on any mart, any supermarket you go to in Korea. Next, following close by that is not banana uyu, not banana milk, but coffee milk. I've never tried this one. It says Korea's favorite. That might be cap because there's no way this is Korea's favorite. Korea's favorite is for sure banana and strawberry. Cheers. Oh, the coffee flavor is like an accent to the milk. So I, milk is definitely the main character. I don't think I like it better than milk is. I could see this one being a little bit more iffy to people, especially if you're not like a huge coffee fan. So if you're not a huge coffee fan, I don't think this is for you. It is still unique enough to the point where I would recommend you to at least try it. Because of that factor, I think it wouldn't go any below a B tier. Next, this one would be very unique to people. I mean, these are all unique, but. Chike! This is a, a sweet rice drink. That's the best way I can put it. Don't think of it as rice, like literally like steamed rice. You know what I mean like that type of rice? It's not that type of rice. The rice, it's this is more like little bits of rice. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not that sweet. 17 grams of sugar. That's why it's not that sweet. Cause we had like probably a thousand grams of sugar already. So in comparison, this seems like nothing. <laughs> It's not gonna blow people away. I mean, maybe just like with the uniqueness, but in terms of flavor, I, I think I think we do this. I think we're gonna buff down uh, cider to F because there's no way this one is on the same level as Shike. I think Shike is a solid C. But also guys, I am having the can version of Shike is a sucky version. But I'm just ranking I'm just ranking on based on what I tasted, uh, just on what I bought. So on this case, I think it'll be a solid C. Next, Burdock Tea. Unsweetened, thank you. It's healthy for you, you know, calms you down. I guess Koreans kind of drink it almost like a detox. They almost, a lot of them drink it in replacement of water. Cheers. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. I understand, okay, let's just say I understand why my grandma loves this. I think it matches a more refined taste. It's not that great. It is on the bitter side. The aftertaste you get is almost like a dry feeling where, you know, like, uh, have you guys tried wine? And then afterwards, there's like a dry feeling in your mouth. That's the aftertaste you're left with. Combination wise, it's not that great, which is why I might have to rank this like an F. I'm not gonna lie. Next. Okay, guys, I don't know if this is Japanese or Korean. I always thought this was Korean. Pokari sweat. Oh, it's Japan. <laughs> Rip. Okay, whatever. We're adding it to the list. I, I already bought it. I already bought it. <laughs> All right, today is today is Korean. Today is Korean. It's basically water of Japan. Yes. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? You know, like those Jello things. Like like those Jellos that come in a little cup and you slurp on it and you just go inside. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like literally like a drink version of that. That's what it tastes like. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's weird because it's like the texture of like water, but it's almost creeping towards like a Jello level. I think it's a C though. So milk, so you. Korean milk is just absolutely goaded. Oh, it's like more flavorful, but also at the same time being light, which is like a crazy combination to think about. Because when you usually think about like more flavor, you usually think more heavier, more creamier, right? This is like actually doing the opposite. It's like lighter, but also giving you more flavor. Hi, I think that's fair. I think these two are just in a league of their own. 
like technically yes you can do this but i don't think there's any world where it is on the same level of uniqueness as this one or this one next more milk <laughs> the same brands horn uyu but chocolate i don't remember it being as amazing as i remembered it is good though between this one and this one I was definitely more mind blown by this one. Maybe there's also a nostalgic factor with it. I like the coffee milk better for sure. Chocolate, I think above, the, right below that. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Do you guys know why I'm doing all this? The milk? It's because I'm trying to milk the subs. I'm trying to milk the content. Don't you guys get it? Speaking of milking, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, be sure to check out my Twitch channel because you know, you never know. You might like what you see, you know, doing a lot of writing content, doing a lot of different contents, uh, different gaming contents, different tier lists like this. You guys want to see more. Oh, oh, who's that? Oh, oh, no way. Oh, all oh, BTS, all oh, BTS Cold Brew. J-Hope, Jimin, and RM. Let's try each one. Let's try each one. This is goaded. It's only 10 calories. BTS is actually goaded. Look at that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I like this. Okay, J Hopes is good. Let's try G Means. Jason is sponsored by BTS. Ah, boom shakalaka. Yeah, get your BTS drink today. Available at your nearest Korean store. Last but not least, RM. RM, the leader. Oh, RM. I mean, just, just regular Americano, but maybe it's a. I don't know. They put some BTS magic in there. Some BTS love. S tier. Easy. Wait, 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 wait. It's no cap. It's no cap. I'm actually, guys, I do love coffee. So it is actually God tier for me. I do love coffee. If you think about it, like the packaging is on point. Literally, everything's on point. Like, who doesn't love BTS? You know what I mean? It's BT, it's BT freaking S. Last but not least, baby. Yo, cool! Looks like Yakult. It's, it's basically Yakult, yes. Fun fact though, these were actually the OGs. These, uh, these actually were around longer. The great thing about these is you can actually mix it with a lot of other drinks. Some people mix this with soju. Some people mix it with like soda. You can do a lot of different mixtures, which is why these are actually pretty goaded. Oh! Oh! Oh, the childhood. Oh, the childhood! Boo, chakalaka! We let all oh, do. We ended with the goaded. That has to be an S tier, right? I think that's an S tier. God tier? You guys are right. I think you guys are right. I think you guys are right. This deserves a God tier. But that is it guys for today's tier list. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of my tier list. If you guys have tried any of this, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys next one. Peace.